Hello, this is Aromia Broadcasting Network Voice of the People Saturday English News Time. Here News Intel. Construction Minister Engineer Aisha Mohammed remarked that modernizing the construction sector contributes for economic and social development. See the Ethiopian construction sector workshop held in Finfine. So the Chakabanicha reports. Ethiopian Construction Technology and Management Professionals Associations, in collaboration with the Ministry of Construction, has held the sixth international workshop under the team Construction Industry Transformation Global and the National Perspective. Minister of Construction Ministry, Engineer Aisha Mohammed, said the workshop has a vital role in bringing new ideas in the sector. Establishment of Construction Council in order to transform the industry and solve the problem in the sector. We have established a Construction Industry Council to deliver and provide direction on policy ideas to enhance the contribution of the construction industry in the overall national, national development. Since the council is composed of different stakeholders of the public, private, and civic societies, it will have a vital role in bringing new ideas that fosters the industry's transformation. President of the Ethiopian Construction Technology and the Management Professionals Association, Mogest Babu stated, the workshop is prepared to share good experiences in the world and to create transformational attitude to stakeholders and the students studying on the sector. Uh, engineering and architecture students that are uh, working across the different uh, countries uh, are invited because they are the next generation. That eternal change should start uh, at early age so that uh, it can, uh, the, the, the relay can uh, pass to the next generation. Mogas added the workshop has its own contribution to identify problems of the sector in Ethiopia. Our construction uh, development is uh, quadrupling, so, uh, but the, the level of skills uh, who are highly qualified, their numbers and proficiency are not uh, going in line. That was the, the major challenge, but the, this scenario is the same in other developing countries that passed through the same trend. Different countries experts have presented the experiences on the sector and the discussion presentation. Ministry of Culture and Tourism disclosed that Ethiopia is represented in the 2017 Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index. We have more on this. The Ministry of Culture and Tourism disclosed that Ethiopia has been misrepresented in 2017 Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index. Public Relations Director at the Ministry, Gazzai Abate, told the Ethiopian news agency, contrary factors recognized by the government and United Nations World Tourism Organization, the report used data that do not indicate the real performance of the country. The Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index that covers 136 economies across the world put Ethiopia at 116 enabling environment, tourism and travel policy, tourist-friendly infrastructures, air and land, and the natural and cultural resources are among the indicators used to rate the position of the countries. The report contradicts the data recognized by the government and World Tourism Organization, and the findings were full of subjective assertions, Gazai said. For instance, revenue from conference tourism covered about 10% of the total revenue from the sector. However, the report indicated that about 87% of revenue from Ethiopia's tourism is obtained from conference tourism, he confirmed. 87% of conference tourism is not in the conference tourism is not in the world. We didn't get 78% of the revenue from conference tourism. Our revenue from conference tourism has never exceeded 10% in the previous successive years. So the measurement is not only contradictory to the factors, but also subjective and judgmental. According to the World Travel and Tourism Council Economic Impact 2017, leisure spending contributed 76.1% to gross domestic product, while business spending, including conference, covered the remaining 23.9%. According to the Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index, the average received per arrival is 457.1 US dollars, contrary to data confirmed by Ethiopian government and United Nations World Tourism Organization. Statistics from the government and United Nations World the tourism organization shows that tourists spend 134 US dollars in average per day. As they estimated to stay 60 days in average, the average revenue per arrival could reach thousands. Ethiopia among the countries which have better domestic connections in the continent, ranked 111th by the report. The country has also called the roads linking tourist sites, Gazain said. <laughs> 
I would like to express the situation in two ways. One, they do not know Ethiopia well. And the second, the report based on their own intention. Ethiopia, the 2015-16 top destination of the world for tourists of the European Council on Tourism and Trade, ranked 69th and 17th for natural and cultural resources, respectively, by Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index, which is absurd, the director said. For Celeste Grima, advisor to the state minister, similar figures are not expected at all variables, but gaps can be closed since standards and indicators vary in such assessments. According to him, the only solution to resolve such controversies permanently is using tourism satellite account, a standard statistical framework and main tool for the economic measurement of tourism. Oromia Education Bureau Head Dr. Tola Bariso called on all stakeholders to contribute in expanding a Oromo medium schools in Finfine. Oloma Baine has, has more on this. Oromia Education Bureau has been evaluating work performance of Infine City of Anoromo Medium Schools. Some principals of the schools have presented reports of six months of their work performance. According to reports, education circle method of teaching has been playing paramount role in ensuring quality education. Enhancing of Anoromo reading skills of students, school peacekeeping, and behavioral change of students are main strengths revealed in the report. Head of Oromia Education Bureau, Dr. Tora Wariso said, Infine City of Anoromo Medium Schools have been playing a significant role in ensuring quality education. Baratan hal cah insa bayi yang kau. As we have seen, the reports of the schools, there are good performances, almost there is no dropout. The students' academic achievements are also great. For instance, almost all students of Wakoguto Afanoromo Medium School, students passed in all subjects in the first semester. Dr. Tola noted that his bureau have been working to solve the limitations that I've seen in different time. We have been seeing limitations like human resource and material resource like books. We have also been striving to build additional schools, including secondary schools in the city. He calls upon the participation of different stakeholders so as to bring the needed quality education in the region and in the city. Ministry of Youth and Sport Affairs expressed it is worrisome over the increasing number of youths who are accustomed to Western cultures and drug addiction. The Oromia Regional Government has prepared a five-year strategic plan to mitigate the problem. Ricardo Bhan takes up Prusuark Olana support. Development of science and technology has a great role in widening spreading information across the globe. However, it has also disadvantage of affecting culture and norms of one's country. Forgetting their cultures, imitating others' culture and addiction have been affecting the youth due to the expansion of technologies. Mostly, this can be seen both at lower and higher education centers. A state minister of youth and sport affairs, Habiba Sraj, said that these problems can limit youths to reach on their goals. Many users have been affected by old cultures and addiction. This can affect the socio-economic development of the youth. Therefore, the issue needs a great focus, she said. Head of the Ormia Youth and Sport Affairs Bureau, Motumat Hamazgen, suggested that his bureau has been working to mitigate users of the region from old cultures and addiction. We are working to aware our youth on their culture and about habit through creating different meetings with them. Some religious father underscore that a religion teaching do not allow to be addicted and they are ready to aware users from such bad habits. Our culture and religion allows us to normal dress, but our youth have been imitating the Western country's culture. They should stop this and return to their own culture. That's all about our Saturday, Saturday news. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye.